Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three three minute rounds for the amateur strawweight title. Please welcome firstly into the blue corner, weighing in at 115 pounds. Representing Rough Diamonds, Louise Bennett. And her opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 115 pounds. Representing Fight Industry and Mahmoudi Jim, Delphine Benoit. Strawweight title time then here in Colchester between the unbeaten 5 0 Louise Bennett fighting out of Rough Diamonds in the yellow shorts and Delphine Benoish fighting out of Paris MMA in the black shorts. Three three minute rounds to decide the destination of amateur strawweight title here. Delphine is six and four, so a bit more experience than Louise. Delphine doing a good job of keeping the center of the cage. Louise Bennett says she's expecting a quick finish. Says there Delphine. Delphine has nothing for her, doesn't fear as a threat. So we'll see what plays out here. We've seen Louise Bennett on this show before. She's a nice striker, cuts nice angles. Benoish, good experience for the IMAF World Champs and the Euros. One of the last two fights. Submissions on her slate. I don't like Louise Bennett pushing out with her fingers like that as she's going to block. Got to get those fingers going north-south, not east-west. I think doing a good job of trying to march her down. She's bringing pressure as Louise looks for the takedown. She's going to get it into side control. Good job by Delphine to get back to her base, work her way back up. Wasted opportunity by Louise. Nice knee from Delphine. Two knees. They're perfectly right down the pipe, yeah. too. Louise throws her off. That almost looked like an old WWF hair pull. <laughs> she sold like it. Ooh, overhand right. Nice movement there from Louise Bennett. Yeah, but she got caught because she came back up and she smirked and then she took one right on the mouth. She's doing things right, but then when she does them right, she's too proud of herself that she did it right and she ends up putting herself in a bad position. Because she does really good about bringing that left hand back to her chin and then she ducks both of her hands down like that. Turn there by Banish. Looking to land those knees again. Because I liked Bennett's head movement, but then she like... Movement. She does very, very well. Yeah. Her head movement is great. The hands down around the waist, not so much, but she's really good about bringing that hands back up when she's in a firefight. She's looking to answer the phone. Superwoman punch. Hey, nice. Feels like a very well matched fight. Both girls very competitive in all areas. There's a head movement again. And there she did everything right. She stayed right in the pocket and she was like, okay, if something comes in, I can parry it off or something. But those hands down at the waist is what's. Going back to the boxing vernacular, it's the make and miss, make and pay, isn't it? She's doing the making and miss. Yes. Now Banoush is landing some shots. 
And she's running away as she's doing it. But again, really good job by Daphne to, she gets quote unquote taken down, but automatically makes Luis pay for it and gets back up. Now yeah. she's on the back. As I say, she does have submissions on a record. Rear naked choke and armbar. Two submissions, two stoppages in those six wins for Delphine. And now she's on the back of Louise Bennett. Got the body lock on. Trying to see the... There it is. Okay, she's, she's trying to get to her back. Which will nullify anything. Plenty of time here for Benayush. A minute left. And she's far enough away from the cage that Bennett can't scoot over to use that to try to roll through or something. I'm sure what's happening there, maybe. I think it's that body lock. Yeah. Because she's grimacing. So that body lock must be causing some serious pressure on her. Very good job by nice. Bennett. She continued to move her shoulders up, shoulders up, shoulders up, and then spun into it. See what I'm saying? She's got all the tools there, like all there. I just want to see her put them all together at one time. She's going to end this round on top. And we've got two rounds in the box then. All right then. Third, and Third final, final round. round to decide it all. Absolutely. I stole your line. There you go for it. Like to see Bennett come out here and work some combinations. Keep that head movement going. See, I like those hands high. Circle, circle. Duffy's doing a good job of staying on top of her, trying to cut the cage off. Yeah. Yeah, she's trying to walk her down, isn't she? Good hard movement by Duffy to dip and jab. She's biting really hard on those takedown feints, though. When Bennett feints that she's going to shoot a takedown, Duffy really jumping on it. Bennett goes to that takedown after only a couple of nice leg kicks. Bennett's got her head in the right position, right up underneath the chin. Delphi's doing a good job to use that wizard. Benoush ends up on top. What could she do with this position? I mean, Bennett looked like she was, ooh. Up kick. Way to pay with a little, couple of spiteful kicks to the legs. From Delphine. Yeah, but if you look at Delphine's legs, her legs are reddened up, both on the inside and outside of that league leg. Yeah, Bennett's landed quite a lot of leg kicks. In fact, it's starting to bruise. Yeah, absolutely. Delphine going low to the body. That's what I like to see. Bennett needs to keep those hands up, keep that head moving. She's doing a good job of trying to own the center of the cage, but with a minute left, someone needs to pull the trigger here. Yeah, this has been a very, very close fight. Could all come down to this last Ooh. 40 seconds. Two good knees landed. Nothing's doing a good job trying to control the head. Bennett looking to go high with that single leg. 20 seconds left. All right, ladies. Rock 'em, sock 'em, robot. Let's go. Ooh, that combination is just nasty. Nice trip there from Bennett at the end, though. She's going to end this fight on top of Delphine Banouche. 
I think we're going to go to the scorecards. We are indeed. Good, well-matched fight. Back and forth stuff. Both. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. We we'll score with about 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now your Cage Wars Academy strawweight champion in the red corner, Delphine Bell.